Rayla said he first knew Matiba during a soccer game after which they became close friends, a link he had stayed on for years till his death. He said those who hailed the late opposition icon as a philanthropist, family man, bureaucrat, businessman, sportsman, and politician were right. Rayla he met Matiba when the latter was CEO of Kenya Breweries, a time he formed the Kenya Breweries Football Club which became the league champion. The ODM leader said at that time he was in Gurmaia before moving to Lawo Union, teams which competed amid entrenched tribalism in the sports sector. Speaking at Matiba's funeral in Moringa on Thursday, he said Matiba is the one who started most of the soccer academies in the country. He wanted Kenyan football to rise to international standards for his love of sports. Matiba was a very principled man, he said. Noting that Matiba was a great patriot, Rayla said the tribalism in soccer led to Matiba being rigged out as the chairman of the soccer group. He then convened a meeting and we agreed we will work together to improve the quality of soccer, he said. He lauded the politician for pioneering sports academies in the country and rooting for professionalism in the sports sector. He put up a very strong team to manage soccer in terms of financing. We brought professional coaches which propelled Kenya to win the first East African Championship. He reminisced Matiba's engagement with Pelé to train Kenyans on sports matters before his resignation to deal with other things at the height of resistance to the changes. We had the clubs and that became the basis of our organization. But when he found himself being rigged again, he resigned. I had just come from my second detention, Rayla said adding that some Kenyans started holding protests and choruses condemning Matiba saying he was tribal. But he noted that Matiba reached out to him and asked him to talk to his father Jaramagi Ojinga on his behalf. And then Ken looked for me and told me that the rate at which these people are going, only Jaramagi could help. I arranged a meeting with Jaramagi and he explained to him what is happening, he said. He told Jaramagi that you are like a cock who crowed too early dot 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 and Kenyans are ready to come with you and I want us to work together. Rayla said after Matiba finished talking to Jaramagi, he was asked to bring with him his friend Charles Rubia, developments that ushered in the clamor for multipartyism. Attacked. We then talked together and we agreed that Jaramagi would make a statement. Ken went back to Diani and at night, his home was attacked, Rayla said. The ODM leader said Matiba's wife Edith suffered deep panga cuts and was admitted to Nairobi Hospital Zaku. These are some things that are not known to Kenyans. The kind of brutality that was meted to Matiba's family during the time that Matiba was also suffering, he said. Rayla said they then agreed to organize Kenyans at Kamkunji to talk about reforms. Ken had Matatu connections and I would use Gurmaia fans to fill Kamukunji grounds. We were going to ask Kenyans if they were ready for multipartyism, he said. He said that before they did this, police officers were already stationed at their offices to block them from addressing the rally. They were in my office, Rubia's office. They followed me saying they won't harm me but prevent Ken and Rubia from seeing me, he said. Rila said he was always warned against going to their offices which were under tight security. Arrested Two days later, Matiba and Rubia were arrested and taken to Kamadi Maximum Prison. Some two days later, they arrested Rayla. I had been taken to many detention areas. There is no detention camp I have not been to apart from Hola, he said. Rayla said he was taken to the segregation block while Matiba was taken to the isolation block. Ascaris were looking after me for one week and the next week they would change to Matiba's block, he said. He said the wardens could praise Matiba for his cleanliness and professionalism. After a while, an officer told me Matiba your friend is sick. He is dull we talked to him and he said he is in pain. The doctors said he was pretending. He said. I then took a toilet paper and informed my wife Ida to tell Edith that Matiba was sick. The Askari who is called Mwangi he is the one who took the note to Idaho. Rila said that when they heard that they took him to Nairobi hospital and registered him under as a Machiri for treatment. 
What caused stroke in Matiba was preventable. If an action was to be taken he could not have suffered. The rest is history. He said. We shared a lot of things with him. We have lost a strong person, a hero, somebody dedicated to principles.